Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Ditch Auto, and this is week 22 of our Ditch Auto Photography Challenge. We have been doing a new challenge every single week. If you're just joining us, Photography Challenge, you can join in now. You can start from the beginning. Um, but what we're doing is doing this together, and we're sharing our photos and uploading them to a Facebook group. So in the, in the description below, there's a link to the Facebook group, so you could check that out. Uh, we have an album there where you go and upload the photos um, that you choose to submit, and then we just, you know, share and talk about our photos and maybe give some constructive criticism and stuff like that just so that we can grow together as photographers. The idea is that we try something different every week, uh, that we even combine past challenges and just kind of get better, get out and use our cameras. And that's how we get better as photographers. We use our cameras, we try new things. So with week 22, we're gonna be focusing on sports. Now it's getting warmer out where I live um, over here in, in California. It's getting a lot warmer. And so we get outdoors more, we play more sports, we do more things typically when the weather is nice. Um, and even in other parts of the world where it's cold, there are sports going on over there as well. And uh, so we're not gonna focus uh, specifically on an individual sport, just sports in general. Because the, the interesting thing about sports is that when you're shooting, you can't just put your camera in automatic mode or you can't put it in, you know, aperture priority mode or, or whatever. You have to you have to increase that shutter speed. You have to, to speed up your camera so that it freezes that action. Uh, that or you have to just be really good at tracking your subject or whatever it is to have like a blurry background uh, but have your subject be in focus. So you have to you have to play with it. You have to figure out what that shutter speed is gonna be so that you can either freeze everything that's in the frame, maybe something that's moving really fast, like uh, I've shot for NASCAR at, at NASCAR races before, and at NASCAR races, those cars are flying by, and typically you need to have a little bit faster of a shutter speed. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be taking a lot of photos and missing you know, missing the opportunity. Uh, something is gonna be a little blurry, uh, and you know, especially if you're at an angle where the car is driving across instead of maybe driving towards you. Um, things move fast. In soccer, in baseball, in football, a lot of different sports, the player or you know whatever is going on is, is moving quickly. And so it requires you to be reactive as a photographer. You can't rely on the camera to do too much thinking because it's, it's gonna try its best. I mean, most cameras have a sport mode and when you put it in sports mode, it probably you know increases the shutter speed a little bit make some changes, maybe gives you a little bit faster autofocus, but they're not perfect. So you really get a lot of practice in capturing things uh, when you're shooting sports because there's a lot of missed opportunities there. Maybe you're, you, you miss the, your subject passes through the frame or you're moving and, and you didn't get them positioned too well in the shot or something weird was going on in the background. Um, things are happening so fast that you have to really be reactive. And I think that's what I really enjoy about shooting sports when I have the opportunity is that things are happening so fast, you have to really kind of be aware of everything that's going on around you and then also have your camera settings uh, kind of locked in as well. So be thinking about a, a sport that you can go and shoot, maybe head down to your local park or you know soccer field or whatever sometime during this week or maybe there's a tennis court near you or something and just you know take some pictures tell you know whoever it is that's playing uh hey you know i'm just doing this photography challenge and i'm trying to get better at taking sports photos and and just you know see what happens or maybe if it's a big game of some sort you don't really have to ask for permission you just take photos um, you know, I've even gone to baseball games and taken in my camera and sat, you know, a little bit closer and been able to get some some good shots from uh, from the grandstands. So, you know, there's there's definitely lots of different opportunities for you out there. It just really depends, um, you know, on maybe what sport you're interested in. Uh, I would get out there, take your camera. If you have a telephoto lens, something with some zoom to it, maybe take advantage of that, especially if you have something that has, um, you know, image stabilization, vibration reduction, whatever it is, optical stabilization, whatever your camera manufacturer calls it, 
having that is definitely going to help as well. Uh, it's going to help keep that shot nice and steady and sharp, especially since a lot of times when you're shooting sports, you're probably shooting handheld or maybe on a monopod, but shooting on a tripod is probably going to uh, slow you down a little too much. So interested to see what some of you get, some of the sports that are happening in your neck of the woods, and, uh, and just see what you come up with. Um, think action, think fast, uh, and think fun, and see what happens, and come back and share it with us in the Ditch Auto Facebook group. So link is in the description below. So when you post, make sure to do that to the appropriate album, share your camera settings, and then maybe just tell us a little bit about the photo. I know that with sports photos this year, I've taken some of my son who is playing t-ball, and now that my kids are getting into the age of sports, uh, you know, I'll be taking a lot of sports photos of my kids as they try different sports and participate in them. So that's going to do it for this week's video. If you are new to Ditch Auto, make sure to check out our free Ditch Auto course, which helps you get out of automatic mode, start shooting in manual mode, and take advantage of all of those great features that your camera has so that you can tell your camera what to do, tell your camera, uh, you know, the settings and all that good stuff, get more familiar with setting up your camera so that you can capture just the great photos that your camera is capable of getting and that you see when you see something that you want to take a picture of. So make sure to check that out. Uh, link is in the description below, and we'll see you this week in the Facebook group. Take care.